Rubbish. Japan produces so much of it, it has to turn it into islands. This is where Tokyo sends all the waste that cannot be recycled. At current rate, it will be filled up in 50 years. Long before then, this city official hopes to be out of a job if citizens learn to reuse more and throw away less. First people have to sort out rubbish by type of materials. Then we try to reuse and recycle them so we don't generate waste. In this way, I hope we can eventually have a zero waste society. It's an ambitious goal, but some of the country's biggest companies are on board. At this plant, TVs and domestic appliances are ripped apart and their bits reused. In resource poor Japan, this electro scrapyard is starting to be seen as a gold mine. Most of these components will end up in new appliances. They'd normally have filled a toxic waste dump. But Panasonic says the environmental impact is now zero. In the beginning, residents here had some concerns. But, as you can see, we've been operating the plant without polluting water, so that the rice grows without any problems. The plant coexists with local residents. Canon now reuses 90% of its photocopier's components and is experimenting with new ways to reduce waste, including using natural materials that will eventually break down. The main ingredient in this plastic keyboard is corn. This material is as strong and as fireproof as plastic made from oil. As more natural products become available, and the population becomes more responsible. It's hoped landfills will be thrown in the dustbin of history. <laughs>